Hi again, uh, my name is Dr. Chen Yiming from VitaCare Family Clinic. Um, th I'm the medical director of VitaCare Family Clinic as well as the founder of Fitivate.com. Welcome to our latest medical videos um, produced for education. Today we're going to touch on the topic of human papilloma virus and its vaccination. This is a topic that is very close to the hearts of our female patients. Um, we're going to explain to you what human papilloma virus is, how this sp spreads and what are its long-term implications and uh, how will the vaccinations benefit the patients. So without further ado, let's begin. I hope you enjoy the video. Human papilloma virus is a group of viruses that causes infection in both men and women. There are over 100 varieties of HPV, more than 40 of which are passed through sexual contact. It is so common, it is estimated that 85% of us will get HPV at some point in our life. It can result in skin wart formations, or it can just be an asymptomatic infection of the genitalia. Most people infected by genital HPV have no clear history of contact. So how can it be transmitted? It can be transmitted through genital skin-to-skin -skin contact during sexual activity. Very rarely, during delivery from the infected mother to the baby. HPV cannot be passed by sitting on toilet seats or just touching the doorknob. Your risk of infection is higher if you have a. Multiple sexual partners While using condoms can help reduce the risk of HPV infection, it does not cover all genital skin nor guarantee a 100% protection. b. You have a weakened immune system People with weakened immune systems due to HIV or AIDS or if they are on immune suppressing drugs are at higher risk of HPV infection. Thankfully, most HPV infection clears up on their own. 80 to 90% recovers on their own within two years. However, there are certain HPV types that can cause persistent infection leading to cancer and other diseases over time. Almost all cervical cancers are linked to genital infection with HPV. HPV subtypes 16 and 18 account for about 70% of cervical cancer cases. Subtypes 6 and 11 are responsible for about 90% of genital warts cases. It can also cause several other types of cancers such as anal cancer, mouth cancer, throat cancer, vagina cancer, vulva cancer and penile cancer. HPV infection has no treatment or cure the best way is to get vaccinated before you are even exposed to the virus. Different types of HPV vaccines protect against different strains of HPV subtypes. All of them are protective against the subtypes 16 and 18 that causes most of our cervical cancer. Please speak to your family physician to determine if you are suitable for the vaccination and which one to go for. It can easily be done at your nearest family doctor's clinic and it may prevent you from getting cervical cancer in future. It is potentially life-saving. Female Singaporeans who fulfill the criteria can use up to $500 per Medisafe account per year under the Medisafe scheme to pay for HPV vaccination. They can use either their own or their parents to help pay for the vaccination. HPV vaccines are approved for use in females aged 9 to 26 years of age. The vaccines are most effective if given before first sexual exposure. Women who are sexually active may still benefit from the vaccine, as they may not yet have been exposed to the HPV subtypes covered by the vaccine. But please remember, even if you have already done your vaccination, do not forget to still go for your regular pap smears or HPV DNA testing. Getting HPV vaccines is protective against cervical cancer, but it does not mean you will not get cervical cancer. 
regular screening is still mandatory. Pap smear is indicated for women aged 25 to 69, HPV test for women aged 30 and above. That's it for this episode of Medical Videos by VitaCare Family Clinic. I hope you learned something from this. If you like our videos, please click the subscribe button to receive updates on new videos. Please also check out the rest of our productions. If you have any topics you would like us to talk about, reach out to us via Facebook, WhatsApp or website. Thank you, till the next time.